Hello everyone, welcome back. Oracle Integration Cloud interview questions. Beginners to experts. So let us look into question number 16 to 20 in this video. Question number 16. When to go for publish to YC? Let me show you the 17th question also. When to go for subscribe to OIC? So before discussing publish to OIC and subscribe to OIC, we should be having a knowledge and messaging queue. So if I think you already have a knowledge on active MQ, that is free. Right. So what is messaging queue? So let's say as a company, I want to send a message to uh, you know, company A, company B, and company C. Okay. So I want to send a message to company A, company B, and company C. Same message to all of the three companies. So in that case, what I need to do, I need to send a message to company A, and again, I need to send the same message to company B and company C. But when you are going with a messaging queue, you can just send a message to messaging queue and company A, company B and C can subscribe to that messaging queue so that they can receive a message that I sent to that messaging queue. Same message they can receive at the same time. So when I send a message to messaging queue, they all can receive. So I'm just sending single time. They all are receiving. Okay, that is one point. And the other thing is, so when I'm sending a message to company A, due to the technical issues, let's say company A is not available, the server is not available. So when I send a message that can't be reached to company A because it is not available. But when you are going with a messaging queue, you are sending a message to messaging queue so later company A can come back and receive that message. Means, you know, when you are sending message will go successfully to the messaging queue and you just, you can just forget about it. Once the company A is available, till the time message can be wait in messaging queue. Once the A is available, company A can receive that message. So here your message is, reaching to the company A, even it is not available or available. So that is, we can say it is high availability. And you know, we are, our message is, you know, 100% sure that it is going to reach to company A. So that is the advantage. Now, when to go for publish to YC. Oracle Integration Cloud provide inbuilt messaging queue, which you can leverage to publish and subscribe messages, right? So we have active MQ, that is from Apache, but now in OIC, we have a messaging queue, inbuilt messaging queue. We don't need to configure anything for that. That is inbuilt messaging queue which you can leverage to publish and subscribe messages. Means you can send messages to messaging queue and you can subscribe to that messages. Okay, so create an integration in which you add a trigger adapter to publish messages to Oracle integration through a predefined Oracle integration messaging invoke. No configuration of the invoke subscriber is required. So when to go for publish to OIC? When you want to send your messages to a messaging queue. In that case, you need to choose publish to OIC design pattern and you need to go with the implementation so that the messages can, re can go to the messaging queue and while I subscribe to sub that messaging queue, they all can receive that message. Question number 17, it is also related to this. When to go for subscribe to YC? 
Because, you know, someone is sending a message to message in queue means someone should be able to read it. I mean, we are sending for that purpose only, right? So create an integration in which you add an invoke adapter to subscribe to messages from Oracle integration through an Oracle integration messaging trigger. So here we have built an integration to send a message. But how we are sending? We are sending a message from the messaging queue. So here's create an integration in which you add an invoke adapter to subscribe your messages from Oracle integration through an Oracle integration messaging trigger. This pattern can only be used in conjunction of publish to OIC pattern. You must have already created a publisher to which to subscribe. So when you are going for this, publisher should be there because you know you should be having a messages. Someone is sending a message to that messaging queue, then only there is a reason, so reason for the subscription. So you are prompted to select a publisher to which to subscribe. So when you are going with the subscribe to YC design pattern, it will prompt in that you need to select a publisher. So that is mandatory. The publisher does not need to be active but must already be completed, completely configured. Means when you have a prompt, you need to select a publisher. That publisher may active or may not active, but that should be completely configured. In simple words, I can say, so we all are using WhatsApp. So let's say we have created a group. Just for some time, just group, we can rename it as messaging queue. So let's say we have created a messaging queue. And then we all are you know, going and adding into that messaging queue so that we all can receive whatever we post that uh, group messages to that group, we all can receive it. So here, let's say I am creating a group means messaging queue and I want to send some message to all of you. So here I am a publisher. I'm just sending a message to that group. And then who all are in that group means who all are subscribed to that group can receive that message. So you all are subscribers. Okay. So this is the best example I can say. You know, when, when you have a requirement like this, we need to go with subscribe to messaging queue and publish to messaging queue. What is package? You can group integrations into a package. When you import or export the package, to or from Oracle integration, all integrations in that package are imported or exported. That means, let's say you are creating a CM related integrations, multiple integrations, you have a requirement to create multiple integrations related to CM. So let's say purchase order and you know sales order, these all integrations you are building. You can give all of them the same name. You can uh, group them with the same package name. So when you are giving the same package to all of them, when you want to export that all integrations from test instance to production instance, you can just simply export a package and then import that package into the production instance so that you can have all these integrations at a time, I mean, in a single migration. If you are not using a package, you need to export and import sales order integration and you need to export and import purchase order integration. You know, we need to do that separately. But here, when you are going with a package, you can do that in a you know, you know, one-time migration. So that is one advantage. And when you are creating an integration, you can see you know this image. You can you will be having this uh, you know. Uh, form 
here you need to give integration name identifier and version and in the below you can see package and this is optional you can give a package if you want otherwise you can leave it packages being optional integration do not be a part of them at least one integration in needed for a package to exist at least one integration is needed for a package to exist so these below options i mean these all we can do with a package so view the integrations in a package import a package you know you can import a package so that all integrations inside that package can be imported into the instance export a package when you are exporting you can export all the integrations inside the package update a package means you know you can remove a package from integration you can add package to integration and delete your package here when you are deleting a package we need to make sure that when you click on delete it will give you a prompt there it will say that it will also delete all the integrations inside this package please read that carefully and then click on okay if you don't want to delete the integrations when you are deleting the package you need to go to each and every integrations inside the package and then remove a package name from that integration so that it can be removed from the package and when you are deleting a package this integration will not be affected just make sure when you are deleting a package okay what is adapter a way to connect to cloud or on premise applications a simple way to connect to cloud or on premise applications is called adapter adapters in the cloud is a program that controls the transfer of information between users and a cloud in general oracle adapters are ready to use and pre built blocks of code for the specific technology so when you are in a integration industry whatever tool that you are using currently you must have a knowledge on i mean you should be used rest adapter right so just let me give you a simple example i mean what is actually main use of adapter so let's say when you are dragging and dropping a rest adapter what you configure we just give a url to connect and the credentials means authentication details rest all can be taken care by the adapter rest all means what so let's say without adapter in normally when you are writing a java code or any dot net code or php code we need to import jar and we need to save this you know url uh, credentials into some variables and you know in some we need to save somewhere and we need to connect to that url and we need to pass headers and also you know we need to format uh, uh, you know credentials format and then we need to send it and finally we need to write code like dot connect i mean we need to write couple of lines of couple of lines of code to connect to that application here we are just dragging and dropping the rest adapter and we are just providing url and credentials to that so that it is taking care of everything and one more best example i can give you is from oracle point of view so let's say you want to import invoices i mean invoice to fbda using fbda you want to you know uh, create invoices in oracle application create or update invoices using fbda so in general what we can do so we need to use web services to initially to send the file i mean we need to prefer a csv file and first upload that file to ucm server okay we need to upload file to ucm server and the next step is load that file from file into interface tables that is second step and then again 
load the interface files or interface tables data into actual tables. Three steps we are doing. But when you are going with the Oracle adapter, ERP adapter, you just need to give, I mean, you just need to configure all the details in adapter itself. And then these all three steps can be taken care by adapter that will load file to UCM and then again into interface table and again into actual table and give you the result. So that is the beauty of adapter. What is agent? Agent connects on-premises apps to the cloud. Install the connectivity agent to allow your on-premises applications to interact with your SaaS applications in the cloud. It secures, sorry, it ensues a secure communication. Simple, when you want to connect your on-premise application, when you want to send data, when, when you want to you know, send data from on-premise applications to your cloud application, in that case, you need to install agent in your on-premise application and configure it so that it can connect with cloud. So agent connects on-premises apps to the cloud. And it also takes care of security. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video. Good luck.